Through the images, we observed that the animal cell and plant cell are shaped differently. The plant cells are green because of something we studied before. Can you guess what is it? Exactly, chlorophyll. But keep in mind that not all cells always have a special color. Sometimes we put staining on the cell under the microscope to be able to see its different details. But what's common between these two images? Right. This title, here is the common building blocks. What does it mean? You will get the answer while reading the text of the activity. Let's go. That was very nice and simple text. I will share my thoughts with you. Organisms can look very different from each other, but they have one thing in common. Each is made of one or more cells. These cells are the basic units, or building blocks of living organisms. Just as a toy, building blocks can be used to create many different structures, from play cards to castles. Cells are units that form all different living things. Most cells are very tiny, and to see them, we need a microscope. But there are large cells that the unaided human eye can see easily as well. Did you notice the highlighted word? Bacteria. This is one of the key vocabularies. There are many types of bacteria. Some are useful and others are harmful, which may cause some diseases. But the most important thing is to know that the cells of the bacteria are usually smaller than any other cells of living organisms. Also, bacteria are unicellular. That means that it has only one cell. Now, after reading the text, I think you have more questions. You can record them in your notebook because they will help you learn more about cells. شوف الحلقة كاملة من خلال تطبيق مدرستنا بلس. مدرستنا مستقبل يبدأ الآن.